Okay. So let's let's before we start solving more examples, let's just review together what is an OBAMP and how we can approach the problem. So we said that the OBAMP basically is a three uh, terminal device. Okay, why it's exactly ugly like this? Okay, sometimes it does that. Let me do one thing. See now, offer it would not. Okay, so this is the OBAMP. We call this is a three terminal device. Okay, a three terminal device, it has one, two, three terminals. There are some other terminals because this is actually, actually a chip that has eight terminals, but the the most important thing there are two other terminals which is which we call them the plus vcc or plus vs sometimes they called and minus vcc so this is sometimes we show them like this and sometimes we don't even show them in the in the diagram so this is plus vcc and this is minus vcc as i said sometimes you call it vs it doesn't matter what you call it so this is what will supply the energy to the op amp without these two voltages there is no uh, any uh, output another thing here that your output which is here this is your v out will not exceed it will not exceed VCC or not be less than minus VCC. So this is the limit. This is the upper limit of your amplifier. You can amplify up to this, this voltage uh, level. Now we said that the op amp, this is, we call it the open loop mode, but we don't operate this because the gain of the amplifier is very, very high. Your V out, if this is, let's say V positive this is v negative so is equal to this gain times uh, v positive minus v negative this gain is extremely high when this is extremely high you will exceed the vcc so the output will be saturated so this is not you good use for us so this will take us to the second mode where we actually connect the amplifier and there are different circuits, uh, multiple of circuits. I will see, we'll see them. But this is one of the most interesting and common ones. We call it the inverting amplifier. We have here my input VN, and here is my output. And we said that when we analyze an op amp circuit, there are two important things that we have to pay attention to. First, that the currents that enter the amplifier are equal to zero. This is extremely important. All the currents that enter the amplifier, so it is this current and this current. It's not this current. This is not the current that enter the amplifier. This current will come here, we'll see this node, Part of it will go inside, part of it will continue, but this part that goes inside the op amp is equal to zero at both terminals. And then we said that the V plus is equal to the V negative. We don't use this at all in our analysis. So these are the most important relationship. One last point, we said that do not apply KCL here at the output of the op amp unless i ask you what is this output current so if i don't ask you find this current we never apply kcl here because there is a current actually going into or out of the op amp we call it the output current unlike the input current which is which are equal to zero so if i do a kcl here then i have to take care of this i have to uh, encounter this current and if I do then I'm adding another unknown so I'm adding an equation with another unknown which is not helpful because you are just complicating your uh, your problem so that's all you need to know about the OBAM the rest is nodal analysis and this is why we I emphasized about the nodal analysis when we discussed that in the in the course we said that now in the remaining of the course, I will not ask you in the final to use a specific technique. It's up to you. In the midterm, I test you in everything, KCL, KVL, voltage division, current division, nodal, all techniques. So you now you are supposed to know all of them. Now it's up to you to select. In the final, it's up to you to select which technique you are more comfortable with. So let's start with this example. 
uh, in this example, we said that uh, here, what this, of course, ideal of M, this is a keyword, and this is, I don't have to mention it because all of amps that we will be dealing with will be ideal of amps. Ideal of amps mean these voltages are equal to each other at the two terminals and the current are equal to zero. This is what is re relevant to us, actually. There are some other things, but they are not really very important for us. Okay, for the ideal of amp, what should be the value of RF? So this is this resistance RF is not known to us, is unknown. But this RF will lead to something very important that your voltage gain, or again, for we use voltage gain, or again for short, is equal to 5. So basically your V out over Vn is equal to 5. So if this is happening, what is your RF? Okay, excellent. So when you look to this question, First of all, we have to identify the nodes. That's the most important thing. In node analysis, as we said, a reference node given to us. No need to worry about it. Second thing, identify the number of nodes. Okay, so this is a supply. Actually, when we see something like this, it means there is a supply here. So I'm drawing here just to make it 100% clear. So this node that we know the voltage, which is VI, so we don't need to apply KCL at a node that has a voltage supply as we did before. Now, this is definitely one node. It's not connected to the output, so there is no restriction about it. And also, this is actually another node. This is another node. This is number two. And then this is a third node, but this node is connected to the V out, so I will not apply KCL. So this is a node. Okay, it is a node, but I will not apply KCL. So from this here, we identify four nodes, actually five nodes with the reference. Reference, it's okay. So this is where V equal to zero. This node, I don't need to apply KCL to it because I know that is this is a voltage has Vn into it. This node, I don't need to apply KCL because if I do, then I have to encounter and take care of this current that goes into this node. So you will add another unknown, so I don't need to, to worry about this. So basically, there are two nodes that I need to apply KCL to them, which is node number one and node number two. So we will apply KCL to node number, number one. Now here, it's something very, very important that we need to know all the node voltages. What are they? So this node is equal to Vn plus. Okay, okay, this Vn plus, and this node is equal to Vn, okay? And we'll assume the currents are leaving as we do. This current, now we know it's equal to zero, so I don't need really to worry about it. So this current here is equal to zero. So KCL, now as we know in nodal, we apply KCL, but in terms of what? In terms of the node voltages, this is something extremely important to, to know. Okay, so here we have V, N plus minus VI, which is this current, plus over one kilo is equal to VN plus minus zero, sorry, sorry, plus, this is plus, divided by 2K is equal to zero. So we have here one, two, three branches. This branch, the current here is equal to zero, so I don't need to worry about it. So basically you have two terms. Okay, so let's collect terms. So we have here Vn plus divided by 1k plus Vn over 2k is equal to Vi divided by 1k. So let me here multiply everything by 2k. This is minus, of course, times 2k. So if you do that, so we will have here 2vn plus plus vn plus equal to minus vi. So, sorry, 2vi. So from this, we will have 3vn plus equal to minus 2vi. And from this, we can say that V
Uh, OK, OK, you are right. I think this is this is a mistake. OK, 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 you are right. This is a plus. This is not plus. This is a plus. OK, this is a plus. OK, thank you, everyone. Uh, that's I, I didn't do that intentionally, to be honest with you, but it's really good that how, how many I have here. OK, uh, is uh, not positive. positive. Okay, OK, excellent. I have I have very good responses when I did this mistake, which is really make me happy because OK, now I'm, I'm quite sure you guys are following me, which is something really good. Although, as I said, I didn't do that intentionally. So our VN plus is equal to 2 over 3 VI. So this is your this is your uh, first equation. So we relate Vn plus with two of, with Vi. But remember, remember, this is the relation that we are gonna use later on, which is relate V out to Vn. So usually, when you have multiple nodes, there is an intermediate step. Okay, so you you will compare one variable to Vn, and then this variable, we, as we will see. And always this is the case uh, because of the two inputs to the input are equal to each other. This other input or other variable will be connected to the to the output, and then we will we will be able to to do to connect both of them uh, together. Okay, so here it is node one, node two. Now we have here V n minus is the voltage here, but just to make sure that we don't need to repeat this, you know, we know that Vn minus is equal to Vn positive. The voltage here and the voltage there are equal. So I don't need to call this as Vn negative. I will call it Vn positive to make things easier for me. And then I will apply KCL to node number number two. So we apply KCL to node number two, assuming the currents are leaving. Forget this I and this IF, this, this were for something else. So we can apply here KCL. So this is V in positive current leaving divided by 3K. And then this current is also leaving plus V n positive remember vn negative and vn positive are the same so this is why i'm having here vn uh, positive vn positive minus v out divided by rf is equal to zero okay so this is something very very important this is our relation here now here we have vn positive we have Vn positive and we have V out. We have 3K and RF. Okay, let's let's move on here. To continue. So let me uh, have my last equation here. Okay, let me do it here. Doesn't matter. So why insert current through RF? Here, the, the current here, we apply KCL here. So Vn positive divided by 3k plus Vn positive minus V out divided by Rf, which is this current, is equal to uh, equal to zero. Oh no, I mean uh, this is KCL. You can you can apply it. Okay, let let me show you. If I apply it entering the node, okay, it will be V out minus Vn positive divided by rf entering the node sorry okay let me do it there let me do it here sorry if you assume this is entering the node as we said node it doesn't really matter so if i assume this is a current equal to so v out minus v in positive divided by rf enter the node this is leave the node equal to v n divided by 3k Okay, which is exactly the same as this equation. This is the same thing. Okay, so it doesn't really matter. You can assume any current direction. You can assume entering, leaving. As far as you keep the KCL current enter the node equal to current leaves the node. That is the most important thing. So now we have another relation. We came up with another relation, which is that Vn equal to 2, 3 Vi. Okay, so we have here Vn positive equal to 2 over 3 
vi. Now, this I don't need to see vn positive here. I need to to replace it with this. So then we have v out minus two over three vi divided by rf equal to vi. 2 over 3 over 3. Okay. Okay, so what I did here, I just substituted Vn positive with its value that we found from KCL at node number number 1. Okay, so now we have this uh, relationship uh, that we, we have before. Okay, then we need to sim simplify this and then we will be able to uh, to solve. We have another relationship, a very important relationship here, is that V out over V n is equal to five. This is given in the question. So from this, we can say that the V out is equal to five V n, okay? So I can take out V out here and substitute with five V n. So this becomes five, Vn minus 2 over 3 V sorry Vi over Rf equal to 2 over 3 Vi over 3k. So now I can cancel this with this with this. So now we have only one unknown. Okay, so 5 minus 2 over uh, 3. This is you can say this is 15 over uh, 3. So this becomes uh, 13 over 3 divided by Rf equal to 2 over 3 over 3k. This 3 will cancel. Then your Rf will equal to 19.5 kilo ohm. Okay, so let me see your questions here. Why is that V out minus V instead of the other way? Okay, because as I said, Vn positive and Vn negative are the same voltages. So to reduce the number of unknowns, we just directly replace this one with this because they are equal. This node and this node have exactly the same voltage. Okay, excellent. So this is uh, th these type of questions that you expect to see in the exam. It's, it's like two, you need two KCL. Okay, now let's see another question. Okay, now here things, oh my God, what is this? Two of amps now, things becomes uh, difficult. No, it's not, as a matter of fact. As, as I said, let's try to uh, have the basics that I just mentioned about the of amp, which is first, identify the nodes. So we have this node, but this node, I already know the voltage, so I don't need to worry about it. Then I have this node, which is, okay, I, this I will call it node number one. And this is a node with an output. It's a node, but I don't, I will not apply KCL to it, so I don't need to worry about it. This node is a node that has a supply, so I, I don't, I know the voltage, so I don't need to worry about it. Now, this node is node number two, because this is neither connected to a supply, nor it is uh, uh, it is connected to an output. Finally, we have here V out, which is another last node, and this node connected to an, and the output of the second of amp. I don't need to worry about it. So here it says find the output voltage, which is V out. So I need to find V out equal to some constant maybe times V1 plus another constant times V2. So I need to find V out in terms of V1 and, and V2. So again, we'll apply the same strategy. But again, before that, let's see those nodes, which nodes that we know the voltage. Very important before, before we apply the KCL, let's see which nodes that we know, we know the voltage. Let's see here, there's some question here before we move. Okay, sorry, is a supply the node at the pointy side of the triangle? Sorry, is a supply the node at the pointy, <laughs> pointy, nice, nice word, pointy side of the triangle? 
this is the output voltage. This is the output. It's not the supply. The supply is connected here, but we don't show it. Okay, but this uh, this is the output voltage of the of the op amp, and we said that we do not apply KCL to this output voltage. Okay, so now this node has a voltage is equal to V1. So I will write it down here. This voltage is equal to V2. It's very important. Identify the voltages in all nodes, either as a value or as a symbol, if you don't know it. Now, this voltage, we don't know, but this voltage is equal to this voltage because these two are equal. Now, this voltage connected to the ground, and we know that when the voltage connected to the ground, V is equal to zero, so this is equal to zero volt. So this is here a zero volt. Now, this node is identified already for us as V1, keep it. Now, let's come here. This is equal to V equal to zero. So this and this are equal. So this is also equal to zero. So now we identify two unknown, two nodes that we can apply KCL to them. And hence, then we can, we will have two equations. That's it. And we should be able to solve this equa this uh, circuit with these two equations only. Once we identify them, then that's it. Okay, so there is a diff. I solve this is in a different way in the in the note. I will I will explain it to you. Okay, but I prefer to do it this way here. Now, so KCL at node number number one. Okay, so we'll assume the currents are leaving. We have two currents because this current that enter the op-am equal to zero, so we have this current and this current. So we'll have zero minus V1 divided by 10K plus zero minus V out one divided by 20K equal to zero. If I multiply everything with 20, K, so we will have here minus 2v1 minus v out 1 equal to 0, or your v out 1 is equal to minus 2v1. So this is your, this is your uh, first relationship. Now, one thing here you, you, you should note, now this ob amp, is connected as a standard inverting amplifier, which is this way. Minus plus V1 ground. This is and V out. This is R2, R1. And we analyzed this circuit before. This is a standard circuit. And we said for this is V out is equal to minus R2 over R1 times V1. But what is R2 over R1? It is 20 over 10K. So this is minus 20K over 10K times V1, which is minus 2V1. So you don't need to apply KCL. And this is how I solved this because this is a standard circuit. And the output of this circuit is we already derived this, so we can write it directly. But you don't need to memorize this. You don't need to use this. You can just apply KCL. Play it safe. Apply KCL all the time. Okay. Now, KCL at node 2. KCL at node number, number 2. So again, we have it. Let's again. KCL, let's identify the number of branches. Why? To identify the number of currents and uh, uh, identify the number of terms that you will have, so you will not forget anything. So this node, which is all of this is one node, will have one, two, three, and four. But the fourth one, as we know it now, is equal to zero. So basically, I have to have three terms. Again, I will assume all the currents are leaving this uh, node, this node number uh, two. Then we'll have zero minus the current that goes here. 
zero minus v out one divided by 10k plus this current zero minus v2 zero minus v2 divided by 10k plus zero minus v out divided by 20k equal to zero so we have one two three terms okay i will multiply everything with 20k to get rid of this this becomes equal to minus 2v0 1 minus 2v2 equal to v out so this is this is the equation now the question says i want to have a relation between v out and v1 and v2 so this is v out and this is v2 but this is not v1 this is v01 but we know the relation between v01 and v1 so i will substitute so i will take this value here and i will substitute it here so this becomes minus 2 now this becomes minus 2 v1 minus 2 v2 equal to v out and for, sorry v out and from this your v out is equal to plus 4 v1 minus 2 v2 and this is the relation this is the two constant that is relating v1 v2 with with v out okay now i this circuit is another standard circuit okay this is another standard circuit which is the inverter adder we have it also before and we said that for this circuit your v out is equal to minus this r5 divided by r3 times v01 plus r5 divided by r4 times v2 so this is derived before now r5 over r3 it is 2 r5 over r4 is another 2 which we get this relationship with the minuses here so we get exactly the same so you don't need to apply kcl if you memorize this circuit how it works if you don't it doesn't really matter so i now you have the two solutions using the kcl approach or using the uh, ready or the knowing the functionality of the circuit you can write uh, right away uh, write uh, this okay let me see here okay excellent now let's have our challenging question now and your bonus and this bonus question is uh will not be normal meaning the bonus will be doubled okay so in for this bonus question you will have uh not 0.5 but one full mark okay so let's see this is the question okay so here we have two of amps as you can see them here okay and this is the reference point okay in this of amp and uh, you want to find i this i so find for me this current i i will give you like uh, I don't know, five, 10 minutes, five minutes maybe. Let's see if you can uh, figure out how to find your I. So first you need to identify the unknowns, the nodals, the nodes, the unknowns as nodes, okay? And then you need to apply KCL. You have to identify uh, which nodes that you need to apply KCL uh, to. This is the this is the the most important thing. I mean, this question I would say this is one of the hardest question you can get in the final. This is one of the hardest ones. You won't have harder than this. So I thought, okay, I gave you uh, questions the level of the final, but this would be like one of the hardest question you can ever see in of amp uh, questions. But again. 
just two equations. Most of the OBAM, most of the OBAMs for the exams, they are basically uh, two equations. That's it. So this question, although it looks complicated, there are many things, many resistors there. It's just two equations, two KCL. So you just need to identify where you will apply your KCL, and that's it. Okay, so let's hear if someone uh, got that right. Okay, I will be a bit uh, nicer to you guys and I will start, I will help a little bit, but still the 1% is still there. So we have to identify the node. So as I'm talking here, I'm giving you some hints. What? Well, let's see from the first. So this is one node, but this node, I know the voltage here. So I don't need to worry about it. Then this is another node and this node now we can apply KCL to it. So this is my first node that I need to apply KCL. This node is the output of this op amp. So I would call this is V out one. Okay, but I will not apply KCL here. here. Why? Because this node actually is an output of an op amp. Okay, so we don't need to, to worry about it. Uh, this node and this, these are all one node. So I, this is all one node. So you have to be careful here. When you apply KCL, all of this is one node. When you count the number of branches, they are connected. Let's move on to the right. Now, this is definitely another node. So this is my second. This is my uh, second, and this is will be my V out. Two, I will call it V out two because this is the output of the second amplifier. So if this is my first amplifier, this is my second amplifier. So now I identify the nodes, I identify the reference. So it is basically two KCL at node one, at node two. Then from that, you need to find your I. It's as simple as that. So give you a couple of minutes. Remember, this is this I, this voltage is okay. Now we'll start to have answers. I will start to write them here. Uh, we have, I think you can see them. I don't need to write them. So the first answer is 6.25 amp. Uh, in op amp, you will never have 6.25 amp. So it is milliamp actually because of the 1K, but that's not the right answer anyway. Okay, so usually there is no amp. In, in, in amp is a very very high current uh, this is the current that is maybe taken by your uh, vacuum machine or by your uh, hair dryer so this is a huge current okay uh, so our current is actually 10 to minus 3 of this so emma try again so every count you have to give me it has to be in milliamps Just KCL, assume currents are leaving, we identify all the nodes, so it does. It becomes now a very simple circuit. The only thing you need to pay attention to is what are the voltages of every single node. I did not, I, did, I told you some of them, some of them I did not, uh, because this is part of solving the problem. But other than that, it's just two simple KCLs, nothing else. You will have tutorial tomorrow about the op amp. Also, the VFTA will be solving more 
problems about the OBAM. So with this, you, you will have a pretty good idea about the OBAM. As I said, the OBAM by itself has a question. 6.2 my <laughs> no, it's not. It, it, yes, it's milliamps. That's that's a good thing. It's complete. No, it was completely wrong, Emma. It, it, the value is right, is not is not right. Try again. Still, it's just one percent. It's it's not it's not a bad incentive. I will give like one more minute and then I will solve the question. To, uh, so that we will not uh, run out of uh, time in the class. 43, 27 milliamps, uh, 2 milliamps. For no correct answer, I didn't have the correct answer yet. Some of you are closer than others. Try again, Kelly. You are not very far away from the right answer. Try again. Okay, Sonia, you are not. Okay, here we have Ambrose Hokin Chen. Uh, hopefully, I'm saying your name correct. You got you got the bonus mark. Okay, 2.5. It is 2.5 milliamps. So please email me to get this one percent mark. Congratulations, that's the first one. Get this, uh, what we call it, super node. Sorry, super bonus, not super node. Okay, let, let, let me solve this question. Let's 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 solve this question. And uh, let's try, let's see. Okay, so it's, as I said, KCL, this is node one. So I will apply KCL at node one. How many branches we have? One, two, three, four. This is zero, so we don't need to worry about it. Now, what is the voltage here? This is very important. We, I did not identify all the voltages. This voltage is the same as this voltage. This voltage is zero. So here is zero. Okay. So we have zero minus five over one K plus zero minus V O one divided by 10 K plus zero minus v out to divided by 5k equal to zero so now i will multiply everything with 10k so this becomes minus 50 minus v out one minus 2 v out two equal to zero or we can say that v out one plus 2 v out two equal to minus minus 50 one equation two unknowns we need another equation now we want to apply kcl at node two we identify these two nodes at node two but what is this voltage this voltage is the same as this voltage but what is this voltage it's basically vo2 so the voltage here is vo2 so that's this is the only trick if you may say in this question that you understand that this vo node voltage is the same as this as the same as this so this is kcl at node number two assuming currents are leaving the node so we have here one branch two branches and this the current is equal to zero so we have vo2 minus vo1 divided by 2k this current to the left the current to the bottom plus VO2 divided by 1K equal to zero. So I will multiply everything times 2K. So here we have VO2 minus VO1 plus 2VO2 equal to zero. So from this, your VO1 equal to 3VO2. Okay, so this is my second equation. Now I want to find VO2, so I will substitute this one here. So we will have instead of VO1, we'll have 3VO2 plus the 2VO2 equal to minus 50. And from this, 5VO2 equal to minus 50, then your VO2 equal to minus 
minus 10 volt. So this is your output voltage. But the question would not ask for the output voltage. The, the question asks for I. As we said in nodal analysis, you first find for me every nodal voltage. And then let's see what we want. So your current I basically is going from bottom to the top. The voltage here, V, is equal to zero. So it's going from this voltage to this voltage. So it's going from zero minus VO2 divided by the resistance in between, which is the 4K. So this is equal to zero minus minus 10 divided by 4K. And this is nothing but 2.5 milliamp. And this is the answer for this question. As I said, it's not very hard as far as you follow the steps of how to deal with a question with uh, an op amp. And as I said, this is the hardest it can get in the op amp questions. And in all questions I have encountered in my life in the exams in op amp, you need two KCL, not one KCL, of course, one KCL. This is just to identify for you what is the op-amp look like. But in reality, op-amp questions or in practical problems, usually they have two KCL and I never see something needs more than that to find all nodal voltages. You might need to have another equation after that to solve for the other unknowns, but the two equations will be sufficient to solve for any unknowns. Let me address your questions. Uh, may you explain again why the voltage at node two is the same as okay? That is this is this is the key point. This is the the new thing here. Now this voltage here is the same as this voltage. We agree. This is the op amp. But what is this voltage? This is a short circuit all the way until VO2. So they are, it's, it, all of this is basically one node. All of this, sorry, all of this is just one node because there's no item. So the voltage here, sorry, the voltage at this point and the voltage at this point is exactly the same voltage because this is all just one, one node. Okay, hopefully that explains. Okay, guys, uh, thank you very much and uh, wish you a nice relaxing weekend. It seems that ahead of us, the week is just raining all the week. We have raining the whole time. So let's try to enjoy today and say bye to the, to the sun and uh, then enjoy the raining for one full week. Bye now and uh, wish you all the best.